Welcome to Photo Tuts. my name is Peter Sawyer and today I'm going to show you how to create a cinematic effect in Photoshop using a camera raw file. Um, it shouldn't take us very long, maybe about 5-10 minutes, maybe a little bit longer but hopefully not. And um, this is the sort of effect you get, on, you see on movie posters and games and all that sort of um, sort of media. Now on my screen, this is my original photo it's a JPEG now but that's what it looks like and then this is my end effect as you can see you've got bits blurred out you've got a focus in the middle and the, some of the colours are a little bit more dominant and overall it looks a lot more you know dark and just a little you know more cinematic so let's get started so open up Photoshop if you've not if you've not already put your open up your raw file and Camera Raw will automatically open if you've got it installed. I'm using Camera Raw 5, but I think it works on all all of the latest versions. And uh, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, change the temperature. Now, to me, this is slightly too um, just slightly too white. I just wanted to cool it down, so I'm just going to reduce the temperature just slightly not very much but just enough yeah so just a sl you know a small amount I'm just gonna leave the tint alone exposure now this is the bit where it all gets a bit funny I'm gonna actually make it darker but not by too much just a little bit and I'm gonna let the blacks really darken it in a minute so there we go recovery <clears throat> just stick it down to about six. There we go. Um, fill light. Now this, if you bring it up, it brings up all the whites in the image. Kind of looks a bit like an HDR, but no, we're going to turn turn that one straight off. Leave it off. Blacks. This is where we're going to make sure our image gets, you know, nice and dark. So let's crank it up. Uh, I think 60s, 60 is good. And our brightness, bring our brightness down to about 16. Okay, so now we've we've started to darken this bit, but the faces are a little bit too dark for my, for our liking. So, I'm just going to bring the contrast down again, and I think we're going to be about minus 22 sort of thing. So now we can start to see the faces but you know it's got this dark dark look and oh, I think this is remembered it from last time but clarity yep yeah, I is like sort of how clear the image is kind of obvious really but we'll stick that on 78 vibrance that's how the colors come out at you so you've got Right, the lowest you've got, you still got some colour coming through, but it's all dull. And but if you stick it on the 100, it comes through a little bit too much, almost a bit too real. So we'll stick that where, you know, just on about four, you know, just to bring that up a little bit, but not much. And saturation from zero, we'll just bring it down to minus 30, and just. And that just leads us on to our next step where we actually edit the colours. So, as you can see, we're in our basic panel, but we want to come along to the camera calibration. Little camera icon up here. And, um, yep, yeah, just select that. And now we've got all these tints and other bits. I think it's, oh, it's remembered it from last when I did it a few, a few days ago. That's our. It would, oh, it would be coming like this: default colors, all on zero or near enough. And I just looked into my scene, and there's a bit of red here, a bit of red here, and the sign. So I just stuck my saturation for the reds all the way up, just you know, so these stand out a little bit more. And the blues, I did the opposite and brought all the way down. I could stick them up as well, but I kind of want to crush them and kind of. Stick with this sort of red coming out and um, bit of the back here. Now, once you've done that, just 
hit open image and it will then open it in Photoshop. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to duplicate the image. It's control or CMD and J or control and J or layer duplicate. Oh, filter, blur, lens blur. Now this sort of you know creates the sort of blur you can get in camera. Um I found the default settings are actually pretty good. Oh, actually I'm only filming at a smaller resolution. There you go, you can see it a bit better. Okay, so yeah, it blurs it out and um yeah, it gives quite a realistic effect. So here is um Here's the settings. Now I, I found they were pretty good, but you might just want to stick up the radius. But just have a play around. Um, every picture is going to be a little bit different, or you might not need this step at all. Just then hit OK, and that will apply the filter. Give it a second. So now we, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on one area of the image. Now, we could do this in a number of ways, but what we're going to do is we're going to create a layer mask and then just delete bits on that one. So, if you've got your layer selected, come down, there's a square box with a white circle in. Hit that and it will create this layer mask. Alternatively, you can go layer and it's there somewhere. Layer mask and then reveal all. So select your layer mask, then grab your eraser tool and grab a soft brush. You might need to make it a bit bigger, but just do that using the square brackets on your keyboard or the tool at the top. So let's grab that, let's get the bit in the middle. Let's get this gentleman here. And I'm just going to. Now you can just open it up fully and just press once or you can actually decide where you'd like to have your um, mouse pointed or you know the focus on so and then actually delete it like I am now so you've got a little bit more control over your image but also you still got this effect so I think I'll just yeah I think that's good enough for me and I'm quite happy with that. So now I'm just going to use the shape tool. So hit D on your keyboard and reset your colours to black and white. Yep. Then we're going to um, create just a couple of borders. Doesn't depends how big you want them, but you don't need them very big. Just like that. And just yeah, that's great. Then duplicate that. And scroll onto your top. Now I'm just going to scroll my picture up, both my pictures up slightly. I don't like that. Let's try that one again. Okay, yep, yeah, that's great. And this just to make sure my like rule of thirds. So I've got like the third here, third, and then a th you know a third, third. Anyway, that just kind of, I just think that looks a little bit better in the um looks better. I'll leave it at that. So my final step was just to quickly add a watermark and I've already made a brush quite a while ago. I have no idea where it is. There it is. With my watermark on it. So I'm just quickly going to stick that there. And boom. That's how you make a cinematic display in Photoshop. And that didn't take us very long at all. So get practicing if you can have a look at my other outcomes. I've got um, the Sydney Opera House, um, but I've just blurred out the background and applied the shadows, and that you know that that worked quite well. And then this scene just on a n normal London street, and um, you know I've not added a blur here because different elements are in different places, and there was not one one focus, but it still works and. I think it's a nice effect to apply on some of your photos. So my name is Peter Sawyer and 
enjoy the rest of your day.